Hello, Namaskar, Vanakka. My name is T.S. Sudhir. I hope all of you are doing well. Now, one of the most frequently asked questions is whether ICSC class 10 and ISC class 12 students should attempt an extra question in their board examinations. So, let's examine the rule book and see what it exactly says and then I will give my opinion whether it is advisable to actually attempt an extra question. Now, the CIC circular that was released a couple of days ago says, you are advised to answer only that number of questions as mentioned in the question paper which means if the question paper says attempt four questions you should attempt only four not attempt five or attempt six. Now I can tell you in the past especially in the pre-covid era there were students I know who attempted an extra question got marked for that also gained from that also so it's not as though students have followed these rules because this is part of a routine circular which is issued by the council every year before the examinations. Uh, now what happens is that if you have to attempt let's say in a paper like ICSC class 10 geography you have to attempt three questions out of five 10 marks is for the maps right. So in case if you attempt four questions instead of three let's be more specific you have attempted transport waste management and industry as a fourth option you also attempt a question from the agriculture portion okay. Now in the first three questions transport waste management and industry you have scored let's say 10 plus 10 plus 8. So your score will be 28 on 30 plus whatever marks you get in the map okay. But in the extra answer that you wrote on agriculture it's quite possible that you may have scored 9 out of 10. So what will be your score out of 30 leaving aside the map marking your score will be 29 out of 30 not 28 out of 30 because that extra question where you have scored more will be taken into account which means the highest 3 out of 4 will be taken into account. So, dekhne mein lagta hai ki fayde ka fayde ki baat hai isse fayda hoga if you attempt an extra question. Also the condition is that students who attempt an extra question, question should write on top extra question in bold letters so that the examiner is clear that this is the extra question that the student has attempted okay so that there is no confusion because obviously they are assessing evaluating many answer scripts. Now the important question is what can be the implications for the students and the students need to be aware Ye nahi ki, okay it's a fayda ho sakta hai so let us attempt an extra question. Some students I know time themselves in such a manner that they leave that extra 20 minutes to attempt an extra question. So what happens is that they write the first 3-4 questions, the compulsory questions at a very fast speed and usme galtiya ho jati hai. They make mistakes while writing the main answers because they are trying to accommodate and make space for writing an extra answer. This is a bad strategy, B-A-D bad strategy please do not follow any such strategy okay your first three four however many answers you have to attempt have to be your best answers okay now some students instead of spending time on revising spend that time attempting an extra question and don't revise the answer script at all again a bad strat strategy completely avoidable okay Point number three, it's harsh summer. When your answer scripts will be checked, it will be the month of May, June. Okay. Examiners are not likely to be very happy checking an extra answer. As I said, they have to check a whole lot of answer scripts, right? So you are risking facing an irritated examiner, especially if, you, if your answer script happens to be the last or the second last examiner, by which time mentally the examiner is not feeling very fresh, he's tired, hungry, fatigued. All that can actually reflect in your extra answer. Extra answer deta hai, kato iske baad. Ho sakta hai. I'm not saying they will do it. Ho sakta hai. That risk is always there. Okay, and that can have a bearing on your overall marks. So I would much rather focus on what you know best. Revise my paper instead of attempting an extra question. The rest is up to you. My job is to tell you both sides what can happen, what may not happen. Okay, the decision is yours but at the end your interest is in securing the highest possible marks and also in doing your paper to the best of your ability. Thank you very much.